Well, glory. Welcome back to the glory room. Well, you have before you this weekend, not one, but two old retired preachers. Pastor Matt's taking a well-deserved break, and he asked another old retired preacher to preach for him Sunday. His name is John Ed Matheson. Some of you know that John Ed spent five years growing up in Wetumpka when his dad, Brother Si, was the pastor of First Methodist from 1945 to 1950. I heard Jack Benny say that God knows just about everybody. And in these parts, I guess almost everybody knows John Ed. He's lived in and served in Montgomery for nearly 50 years, having served many of those years as the pastor of Fraser United Methodist Church. Since his retirement, he's worked tirelessly in leadership ministries, training, equipping, and inspiring thousands of pastors and Christian leaders all over the world. Like John Wesley, John Ed can say, the world is my parish. Since I was converted under the ministry of Brother Si, John Ed has been more than a Christian brother to me. He's been family. He and his brother George are two of the most important people in my life. So it's such an honor for me to encourage you to turn out to hear John Ed for the service at 9 a.m. in Gold Star Park in Wetumpka and to listen to the video service that'll be available online from the church. You can say of John Ed's preaching, this is as good as it gets because among preachers, John Ed himself is a giant. John Ed tells me he'll be preaching on the theme, How to Face a Giant. You can guess his scripture will be from 1 Samuel chapter 17, and he's going to be reading verses 32 and 33. Let me read those two verses for you. David said to Saul, Let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go out and fight him. Saul replied, You're not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You're only a boy, and he's been a fighting man from his youth. You remember the name of the giant David faced? His name was Goliath, remember? He was so big and ugly that fine soldiers ran in fear when they saw Goliath coming. Some of the giants we face in life are big and ugly too. But our Lord can give us the courage to face those giants just like he gave courage to David. Name the giants that you're facing and then ask the Lord to give you the courage that he gave to David. Ask him to give you a slingshot faith like David had so you can defeat the giants in your life. Get your Bible out now and read how young David responded to Saul, causing Saul to change his mind and say to David, go and the Lord be with you. You will enjoy reading the entire 17th chapter of 1 Samuel in preparation for a splendid sermon. As John Ed encourages us to believe that with the Lord's help, we can face the giants in our lives. Oh, tomorrow will be a great Sunday. So pray for God to bless us as he speaks through his dynamic servant, John Ed Matheson. Now will you please join me in prayer as we close out this time of our session. Let us pray. Loving Father, we thank you for another sunrise and the joy of knowing your mercies are new every morning. Thank you for loving us in spite of our sins and giving us hope for whatever we face today and tomorrow. We know what it's like to be afraid of the giants that try to defeat and destroy us. Give us the faith to believe that in Christ, we can find a strength to defeat every giant that comes our way. Today, we thank you for the ministry of Brother Si and Miss Mary in Wetumpka many years ago. We thank you for the wonderful ministry of their sons, John, Ed, and George. And we thank you that this weekend, we get to hear the good news of Jesus proclaimed to us by your servant, John Ed. Open our ears to hear what you're saying to us 
as John Ed speaks. Give us the courage to respond wholeheartedly to John Ed's invitation. Increase our faith to believe that we too can, with the strength you provide, defeat the giants that threaten to destroy us. Forgive us for our sins. Inspire us to seek your redeeming forgiveness so that we can become faithful servants of our Lord Jesus. Use our church to make a difference in our community and in our nation. Show us how to perform acts of kindness in the face of the hate and evil that threatens to divide and destroy our nation. As always, we pray that today you'll demonstrate your mighty power and save someone who turns to Jesus for salvation. Hear our prayers to use the love and witness of our church to bring men and women in our community to faith in Jesus Christ. We make this and all our prayers in the name of our Lord Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, that's it from the glory room for today. Expect a blessing tomorrow when you listen online or attend the in-person worship at 9 a.m. at Gold Star Park. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Come expecting to feel the old-time power fall on us as we worship. Come expecting souls to be saved. You know where I'm going now. They once called us shouting Methodists. They may do it again if you loosen up a bit and let someone hear you shouting, Glory!